Come on, everybody. Keep it going. I wasn't ready. Come on. It's all about hydration, man. A little bit of coffee. All right, let's just get it started, I guess. You guys. I like that, man. You're like, hey, we get Shrek the musical. We expect performance. I was in the toilet. There's a review for Shrek the Musical on the poster. It says, the most fun you'll ever have. That's probably one of the bleakest reviews I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> Guys, I don't know what's going on in Northampton. If Shrek the Musical is the most fun you ever have, think about that. Not the most fun you'll ever have at a musical. The most fun you'll ever have. I want you to go to the musical. Think about, was that the most fun I've ever had? If it was, go outside and start rethinking your priorities, okay? I want you to go buy a bag of cocaine somewhere. <laughs> what? Oh, so that's why the musical's so much fun. The Northampton version, everybody gets an eight ball before they go in. <laughs> They're like, hey now, I'm a rock star. Come on, Shrek! People are like, why is the Northampton version getting such amazing reviews? Because everybody's on blow. People are lining up out the block like, oh, I gotta get in that Shrek musical, man. Any musical could be better with cocaine, right? Freaking pantos, you'd be like, he's behind you, dude. <laughs> Nobody will take you seriously. You'd be like, dude, you're having cocaine psychosis. Nobody's gonna believe you. With that, oh, yes, they will. Oh, no, they won't. Oh, yes, they will. Who's behind me? I forgot I was performing in a theater. You don't do panto jokes in a theater and not expect to get a little bit of participation there. Mm. I love a good panto. No, I don't. I've never seen a panto. Up until six months ago, I thought it was somebody who touches kids. Not gonna lie. Everyone's like, hey, we're going to see the panto. I'm like, you make me sick. Why would you guys do that? Where do you get cocaine? Reg? Oh, is he a guy in the audience? Yeah. Cocaine's already been talked about? Yeah. Who's doing my material? <laughs> Some guys up here doing my material. Forget about Reg, man. I know where to get drugs. It's this guy with the ankle bracelet. <laughs> That's a signal in Northampton, isn't it? <laughs> Sit in the front row, cross your legs. If he's wearing a bracelet, he's holding, all right? He's holding. Ankle bracelet. That's a bold choice on a man. You don't see a lot of guys accessorizing in that way. Everybody neglects the feet. Earrings, bracelets, this guy puts one on his ankle. Either that, or it's the most decorative uh, house arrest device I've ever seen. You're not even supposed to be here right now, are you? You saw Reg gnaw his off, you're like, oh. I guess I could do that. How is Reg a part of my set? I don't even know who this guy is. Forget about Reg, he's not going to the Shrek musical. <laughs> the best time of his life. Do you guys want me to leave and just Reg come on? Why'd you guys pay for a comedy show when you apparently have the most interesting man in the world sitting amongst you? We're gonna go to the show, but we actually hope Reg gets on stage. Did you guys even come because I was here? Or did you just know Reg might make an appearance? How boring is Northampton that a guy named Reg is your biggest celebrity? Oh my god, is that Reg? Wow, how fast the mighty have fallen. Everybody was booing Reg. Were people booing Reg or were they booing the fact that they're going to be out of his presence in the next five minutes? Oh, booing me. Oh shit. Oh, alright then. Well, I guess that was a bold choice since you didn't consider long mic cords. Get the house lights up. Let's get the house lights up. Yeah, get your bracelet off. We might be getting another perpetrator. Oh, just booing you in the safety of the back of the room. Usually the animals sit up front, but up front I've got basically a bunch of people that are completely calm and relaxed and believe in organic vegetables, and by that I mean they grow their own marijuana. It's like totally peaceful, sort of passive, pacifist up here. And then in the back, booing you, huh? Well, let's see which one of you. I know it wasn't you. You don't look like you heckle. Not at all. 
absolutely not. You sit, you don't, you may not enjoy the show, but you write a scathing review and email it to the venue afterward. <laughs> Truly British, I like that. Definitely you didn't heckle because you're not even looking at me. You're like, you're treating me like a T-Rex in Jurassic Park. You're like, just look forward, John. It'll all be over soon. See, these are the type of people that should sit in the back, okay? You know? You don't want to be bothered. You didn't want to be up in the front. So I'm actually, when I take this guy out, I'm doing it for you. I'm making the back safe again. I'm making the back great again, guys. Definitely wasn't you that heckled. You definitely want me to find this guy, huh? It better, first of all, let's just get this out of the way. Was it Reg? It was Reg? You're Reg? What? Reg looks like a Dar O'Brien impersonator? This is terrible. I've never been so disappointed in my life. I heard all these crazy stories about Reg. And here he is. Is it you? Did you boo? This guy booed. No, he didn't. This guy looks like a poor man's Johnny Cash impersonator. <laughs> this guy doesn't boo, he walks the line. I've heard his records. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, not clever enough for you? Huh? Why don't we get Red to up and hear about more of his witticisms? <laughs> go ahead, get him on stage! You paid the money! I'll tell you what, Reg can go on stage and talk, and then since you're dressed for it, you can, ex you can do everything in interpretive dance. <laughs> you like Reg, huh? How do you know Reg? He was on? Yeah. Reg opened the show. Yeah. He doesn't look like he believes you. <laughs> Fucking great is this guy. Okay. Alright, well everybody that wants to watch Reg do comedy, Single file out that door. <laughs> this is awesome, Matt. I came on stage, said, hi, how you doing? I got booed in the first five minutes. <laughs> Northampton, welcome to the party. <laughs> Lovely dress, by the way. Totally orange, great. I like that. <laughs> it's nice to know that I won't be hit by a car during this performance. <laughs> you know, like a reflector. Oh, I'm sorry, should I have done one of Reg's classics? <laughs> Boo, perhaps? <laughs> I'm doing tonight, people are gonna walk out of here. Hey, remember when Reg went boo? <laughs> oh man, Reg is classic. That's what cocaine will do to you. <laughs> Reg is selling you guys <laughs> cocaine powder that's messing with your neurons. He's like the Walter White of Northampton. He's selling you sky blue, and when you snort it, something happens to your molecules that you only appreciate things all Reg. <laughs> He's a sick man and I'm taking him out. Is there any way you can do a spotlight just on his head? So that he looks like a really shit Northampton version of, uh, of Marlon Brando in Apocalypse Now. If you were in Apocalypse Now, it'd be a totally different movie. Three hours of trying to find him and then you get there and just go, really, this fucking guy? <laughs> All these, like, tribes are worshipping this dude in a sweater with a collar underneath. They're just going, Reg, 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 Reg. And then you'd be like Dennis Hopper, the guy with the photos, you know, just going, He's crazy, man. He only says boo, but people love it. People love it. Did I say turn the lights down? Don't take cues from Reg. <laughs> These two kids over here working the booth. All right, great. You can turn the lights down now, you guys. Thank you very much. Bring it down. There we go. Back to the show. Back to darkness, everybody. So great. I'm not very good at openings. <laughs> it's true, I don't know how to open the show properly. You know, I just come out and then like, whatever happens, happens. and. And that's what happened. I was in Germany last week, and everybody goes, don't talk about Hitler, don't talk about Hitler. And everybody just puts it in your head, Hitler, 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 Hitler. By the time I got on stage, I was like, hi, everybody. Hi, how are Jews doing? You, how are you doing?
I noticed Reg didn't boo Hitler. <laughs> Interesting. Let's get your priorities in order, Reg. <laughs> Hitler's all right. Americans trying to do stand up in Northampton. Mm -mm. <laughs> I love Northampton because when you don't, when you haven't been here in a while, you always assume it's gonna be a lot shitter than it is. <laughs> you know? You never just have a, you, you, you're always like this. You, you see this gig and you're like three. You go, oh, fuck, I'm gonna fucking Northampton. And then you get here and you go, oh, that's not so bad. <laughs> don't know what I was thinking. You know? Get off the train, quick walk, right over here. It's beautiful. Huh? What? What did you say, sir? It's got Reg? <laughs> Sounds like an awful commercial from the 90s. Got Reg. <coughs> Did you guys have Got Milk commercials over here? Yeah. Doesn't matter. Yeah, says the lady. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We had milk. Why is everything you say so aggressive? <laughs> yeah, got milk. What do you want? <laughs> I, hate, I hope you're not a barista. <laughs> oh, can I get a little bit of, mm, yeah, we got it. <laughs> Not giving it to you, though. Why? We gave it all to Reg. <laughs> Reg can have all the milk he wants. <coughs> this guy named Reg is ruining my life, man. <laughs> you, you've crossed your like, turn the house lights back on. <laughs> Look who it is. <laughs> Sorry to do this to you, man. You mind standing up real quick? I love you. You know that, right? You're a good guy. You're not front row material. Reg, get the fuck up. Let's go. <laughs> can you just mind just switching for a minute? I'm sorry. Just Can you get your drink? Absolutely. Reg will probably... Okay, Reg making physical contact. <laughs> Nobody get coming to my aid. <laughs> Seriously though, what's going on? I've got shit Dara O'Brien, poor man's Johnny Cash, and then second row in, Jack Whitehall staring at me for some reason. <laughs> okay, Red. This is gonna be, this is the worst decision I've ever made. I just realized that. You're so much better in the back. What that? Do I want you to go back? Huh. Yeah, you would, back. wouldn't you? Bring it back. Bring, bring him back. Fuck Reg. Wait a second, wait a second. Reg, this might have worked out in your favor. Holy crap, guys, we're witnessing live the loss of Reg's virginity. This is gonna be... No more sweaters with the collar underneath for you, bud. Tomorrow morning you'll be wearing this jacket. <laughs> What's that? You don't look like John Motson? Who's got an iPhone? He's got an iPhone, he's fighting dirty. He's slinging references I don't get. At least I had the decency to say you look like somebody that these people can all relate to. That was John Motson. You got an iPhone, sir? No. Shit, man. <laughs> Who's got a phone? Google it. You have a phone? <laughs> hey, do you want to come back? Yeah. What's that guy's name in the back to do with the ankle bracelet? Roddy? Ravi. Okay, cool, man. Why don't you come back up front, buddy? Come on back, Ravi. There you go. See? You know what? You have ruined this coat for me. Fuck, <laughs> 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 oh, man. Oh, man, all right, one point to rest. There you go. <laughs> Give it back. back 
can make friends with them. <laughs> Whose side are you on? Huh? I gotta woo you first? Hey, Northampton! <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> Well, yeah, I gotta take it off. This guy just showed me a picture of an 84 year old man. I can't take myself seriously wearing that coat now. He does a, that photo. What's his name? John Motson? I don't know if you guys have ever seen your future. That's what I felt like I just looked at. That's the future of my career. Standing on a football pitch somewhere. Like, oh, yeah, look, it's raining out. Future of my career. What? Mate, I've lived here longer than that, okay? Let me tell you something. Northampton isn't where an American ends up like when he just starts his career, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, no offense, but it's not like it's not like my agent was like, hey big guy. I got a hot market for you. <laughs> Sweet tip from a guy named Rhett. <laughs> Where am I playing? Northampton. You still got that sheepskin coat? Trust me. It's heckler proof. Man, you guys like a fight. Mix it up in Northampton. Thank you. Like, I don't even know what to do with a nice gesture at this point. <laughs> this gig has been so strange, I just assume you spit in it. <laughs> like, because I don't know what happened to this cup, I just assumed that the whole time I was dealing with Reg, it was being passed around as everybody urinated in it. <laughs> Lady in the orange, squatted over it or something. <laughs> it's hard to pit, that was a great laugh. <laughs> Ominous crow fight. Wait, loud. Lights down, please. Thank God, thank God you guys are at least working with me. I just have somebody in this venue on my side. Sweet Jesus, man. Oh my goodness. I gotta woo you, huh, Rav? How do you spell that? Two B's? Oh, Ravi. Ravi. Sorry, man. Ravi. All right, cool. Ravi's in the house. We're here. I'd like to be in the show now. <laughs> okay. That's all right. Follow that. That's why you came here. You think. You came here to laugh. Put on your bright orange dress. <laughs> so you get out. Bright orange, I like that nice solid primary color. It feels good, right? When you get a new article of clothing. Oh, now Ravi's up there. Excuse me. Excuse me. I'm sorry. The last. I recall our interaction was me complimenting what you wore. Then Ravi heckles me, and then you appeared to to, to congratulate Ravi on his choice. <laughs> Orange is a primary color. <laughs> okay. Wow. Northampton has its own color scheme. <laughs> America has its own color scheme. What? America has its own color scheme. Yes. I mean, we see, yeah, orange. Have you guys have you guys demoted orange altogether because it's the color of our president's skin? We don't even recognize orange anymore. What are the primary colors? How has the gig gotten here, by the way? <laughs> about primary colors. You guys gonna help me out with basic maths? I put the S on that. Who's the teacher? Yeah? Oh, great, excellent. What, what age do you teach? Perfect. Listen, don't look at the crowd. Hey, Orange, eyes up here. 
No, you started this. All right. Listen, without being swayed by the audience, so I can move on with the rest of my show. Is a, what are the primary colors? Um, red, blue, and yellow. There's only three. <laughs> Red, blue, and yellow? Yeah. That's it? Yeah. yeah. Ooh, what's orange? <laughs> Zoom in. How do you all know that? How does everyone know that? I hate this game. <laughs> Great. So that joke didn't work. So I'm sorry, what is it, a secondary color? Okay, so cool secondary color. <laughs> I hope you guys are happy. Just taking all the wind out of a compliment. That was a nice compliment for you. Are you here with anybody? Yes. Who, are you, who are you with? My friends. Uh, all right, then never mind. <laughs> the compliment's objective is completely nullified. <laughs> You're too young for me anyway. <laughs> Serious. I'm all about older women, that's why I took this gig. <laughs> no, you're all too young for me. Forget about cougars, I want saber two tigers. <laughs> and that older woman game, it's a beautiful thing. You try to hit on a girl, like a younger girl, it's just too much hassle. They're like, this is my precious garden. Nobody gets in here unless they have the keys to my heart. Get a nice older woman, it's like an old gate hanging off the hinges. <laughs> An older woman's not going to correct you on primary colors. What's that, Ravi? You're out of the picture? I don't know, Ravi. Are you just trying to have sex with me? Honestly, it's... At this point, I'm up for it. Who cares, man? No, you're not out of the picture, Abby. Why not? Go all the way. Go both ways. Hey. All right. Go your way. Too young for me, too. All right. What? I like loose vaginas. I think that's a positive thing to say. Feminism. I like a vagina that's had a little experience. I'm 34 years old. I shouldn't be having tight vaginas. It's like a guy who shakes your hand too hard. Take it easy, mate. I like a nice, loose vagina. I like a little bit of wear and tear on it. I want the windows to be boarded up, a little bit of scrub on the outside, and a guy standing out in front going, I wouldn't go in there if I was you. <laughs> Does he have a catchphrase, that guy? Yeah, what's his name? Johnny Watson? Does he have a catchphrase? I'm so new. What does he say? <laughs> Alright. That was hey. That was funny. What what's your name? Poe. Poe. <laughs> I love that. I love the way you just pronounced the word Paul. <laughs> Poe. <laughs> There's a way some dudes speak where they like push air out and suck it back in at the same time. Bye. They like two guys do that. Dave, dude's name Dave, and Paul. What's your name? Guy. Like, they say it like they're they're they put it and then they eat it like Pac-Man. My name's Paul. 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 Oh man, what a great time, what a great night it's been. So you guys all know each other, is this whole town? I'm terrified to ever come here again. This gig has a very like, uh, most gigs you do, people are like, yeah, we enjoyed that. This gig is like, you can pass. Like it, this gig is acting like you've decided to let me out of your life. All right, we got a school teacher. Orange. <laughs> you had a good time, yeah? Enjoyed it. Rav. Rabby? Might we call you Rav? What? Alright, great. You live in Northampton Long? Uh, since I was one, yeah. 
one years old. <laughs> okay, it's pretty specific. <laughs> one years old. I mean, technically your brain doesn't start remembering things until you're like six. So you're like, your parents might have lied to you. It's, just, it's a lot of confidence. That, yeah, one years old, I'll never forget it. <laughs> Mom and dad is still living here? Yeah, yeah. Okay, good. Just, you know. That was a pretty risky question, wasn't it? <laughs> like, no, they're gone. Oh, <laughs> Lights on. Hey, Reg. Whee! <laughs> That's all you gotta do. You say something offensive at this gig. You just go, hey, look, it's Reg. Ah! Everybody forgets. Everybody forgets. Reg, are you always like this? Or is this like just tonight? I mean, like, does everybody know this guy from, like, Egg let me... <laughs> you know what? Egg boots? <laughs> What'd you say? Ladies, spit it out. Egg what? Egg bees? Egg bees. Egg bees. Oh, it's a club in Northampton. It's a shithole club in Northampton that apparently all of you go to. <laughs> What's NB's? <laughs> shithole, shithole club. Is that their slogan? <laughs> Welcome to Northampton's premier shithole. <laughs> Shittiest club in all of Northampton. <laughs> and, and what, this guy Reg just goes there all the time? And everybody just knows him? So he just sits in the middle of the dance floor as people parade around him high on his coat that they bought from him? <laughs> Great right, man, this is this is a side of Britain that Americans never see. You know, because every time I go back to America, they always go, "Oh yeah, you're playing over there in America, huh? Everybody riding horses, eating strumpets, huh? Chasing foxes." I'm like, "No, dude." Let me tell you about this guy named Rich. <laughs> Lives in a place called Northampton. The people there are animals <laughs> who have an extensive knowledge of primary colors. <laughs> Incredible memories they can pinpoint with laser-like accuracy where they were at the age of one years old. <laughs> they set up physical diversions at a live performance. <laughs> They put a woman right in the second row wearing a bright orange dress because they knew I'd be drawn to it. <laughs> Several people working at the venue let me get on stage wearing this coat. <laughs> Knowing full well as a 79-year-old football announcer. <laughs> that would be the pitch perfect tackle <laughs> to be delivered by some big bald fucking guy in the back. <laughs> that for some reason is a local legend because he hangs out at the biggest shithole in the entire city. In some weird way, it was like one of the greatest gigs I've had in months. Come on, Anthony. Stop. Good, stretch. Thank you guys. Have a good night. I loved it. Bye bye.